We're dealing with an attorney general who everyone in New York knows is a total lightweight. The thing was a scam from beginning to end, so it's a fraud. We know he's a political hack. I know him very well. He comes up to my office looking for campaign contributions. Prosecutors are used to people making wild accusations. Prepare for another war of words. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman confirmed Tuesday his office is investigating the Trump Foundation. We have been concerned that the Trump Foundation may have engaged in some impropriety from that point of view, and we've inquired into it. Trump has accused Schneiderman, who was a Democrat and Hillary Clinton supporter, of playing politics for pursuing the Trump University lawsuit. That is some group of people, thousands. Schneiderman filed the lawsuit in 2013, well before Trump announced his candidacy in 2015. News of Schneiderman's latest investigation comes in the wake of the Washington Post reporting on the foundation's unusual practices. It said the foundation paid for items for Trump, including a portrait of, well, himself. It also reported Trump hasn't made a donation to the organization since 2008. And as has been previously reported, Trump has been accused of participating in a pay-to-play scheme. The foundation gave a $25,000 donation to a political group tied to Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. Bondi, her office, and the Trump campaign have strongly denied the claim. Regardless, nonprofits are prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in or intervening in any political campaign on behalf of or in opposition to any candidate for elective public office. Trump has since reportedly paid the IRS a $2,500 penalty stemming from the foundation's Bondi donation. For Newsium, Lauren Stevenson.